check it's recording. Uh, yeah, it's recording. Hello. Hi. I'm Ashton. I'm Ben. We just came out of the new Spider-Man movie. It's incredible. Spider-Verse. <laughs> um, it is probably, well, it's definitely the best film I've seen this year. Yeah, easily. Um, probably one of the best films I've ever seen, and I, I did not expect that. No, I'd say it's probably my favourite superhero film that I've seen. I was honestly, from the second it started to the end, mm. I was completely gobsmacked by how good it is. Into the multiverse. Into the verse. Into the verse. Spol- yeah. Into the verse? No, into it's the into the multiverse. Into the multiverse. Into the multi. I'm coming from a place where I've watched a lot of superhero animation before this point so that's really like one of my favorite genres and the 90s batman cartoon series that really sparked a lot of my love for superheroes so and um, i'm coming from a point of view where i love the real people superhero like the live action superhero stuff so i didn't actually know what to expect my background in animation is more stuff like bojack and simpsons literally every second of the film your eyes are like oh my god this is so beautiful and crazy it happens really really fast <laughs> yeah um, which is something that you just can't do with live action yeah not in the same way it doesn't come across as like a pixar 3d film no uh it very lens leans on that 2d world by far my favorite ever 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 representation of kingpin who was a really heavily used villain yeah in marvel Universes. At the moment, in particular, I mean, Daredevil, the TV show that's just been cancelled. Really? Had that he's, he's, that's, yeah. he's the main villain. Best Kingpin. Voiced by seen. Lee Schreiber? Yeah. Is that his yeah. name? Yeah. That's it. And amazing. Amazing. Mm. And the thing that we were talking about with animation is that they have the ability to make these characters, like, literally larger than life. In Kingpin's case, I mean, Fisk is so physically daunting that something that animation can do that mm. uh, live action can't. Because of the kind of grungy neon um graffiti style they could do amazing things with sound the moments where he was walking in and just just the moments he was moving through the space in the film were just yeah uh, kind of very um what's the word i'm looking for affecting was made by people who understood animation who understood the power of animation yeah uh, who understood that we're in 2018, nearly 2019. We don't need to only market... Sorry, not market. We don't need to only aim animated films at kids anymore. He's you know? the main villain. Well, he was the main villain in that sh- terrible Ben Affleck movie as well. Um, oh, yeah. It was Nick Colin Farrell? No, he played the... Oh, anyway, so, yeah, anyway, we're just talking about uh, rubbish now. <laughs> And it was so good to finally see a really, really good uh, origin story, I guess, of Miles Morales, mm. who is not <laughs> a white teenager in America becoming a superhero. It was much more interesting. Amazing um, female characters yeah, as well, yeah, both really fun. on the villain side and the hero side. Like, they didn't feel like they were um, trying to be Sony reaching a quota. Mm, it it really did really some awesome. amazing stuff as well in the terms of male and female friendships mm. are important and relevant and don't always need to be like, ah, oh, friend zone or any of that real toxic yeah. stuff. It actually embraced that a male, a straight male and a straight female can actually be friends and that's a really positive, healthy, interesting to watch yeah. relationship. Their superhero-ness wasn't reliant on love lost or uh, yeah, anything yeah. like that. It wasn't like the awful Michelle Williams character in Venom. Like, <laughs> actually, let's not bring Venom into this really Please, positive Sony superhero <laughs> film. <laughs> you were saying that one minute you were feeling like completely upset and the next minute you were Yeah, like, yeah, I was crying. Yeah, I, don't cry, was... I don't cry in movies. He generally doesn't have time. feelings. It's true. Yeah, I worked very hard to remember them from it, my life. It's weird that you were more emotional than me. It because really I is. cry about <laughs> everything. Because um, I fully expected to look over and see you crying. No, I was, <laughs> you I, think I was just too enthralled by it all. Like, but I mean, also, also a lot of the beats that we're hitting in terms of its emotional arc were very relevant to my life. Um, in terms of... Because you do have superpowers in spider like Yeah, yeah. That's the story of a, a boy struggling to come to terms with his identity. Those themes that were explored in the Andrew Garfield... Uh, first Amazing Spider-Man movie, yeah. um, and in the um, Homecoming, Spider-Man Homecoming, they were they were touched on and they were explored, and I enjoyed that. But this movie, mm. it, it it tore them open and like revealed their yeah. beating heart. You may remember us from our last review, 
the real housewives of... This is Please don't across, remember that. This is coming across like we've planned this. <laughs> yeah, we did. It's just natural back and forth we have as professionals. It's easily yeah. the best uh, superhero film that Sony have still had yes. a hand in. Because, as you know, Marvel uh, Studios own the rights to most of them now. Spider-Man and its properties and X-Men, I think, being the only yeah. exceptions at this point. And after seeing Venom, we were so disappointed with how it was handled and which... Marvel Studios had that property, mm. but after seeing today the collaboration, we think it's collaboration between the I two. They definitely had the Marvel credits and the Sony credits. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, Sony can finally be really proud of what they've done because mm. they've arguably now put one of the strongest entries in the superhero genre for the last ever. If you're one of those people as well, just to, just to put this out there, if you're one of those people who's getting a bit tired of the Marvel Universe, because I know a lot of people are kind of feeling the kind of fatigue... From that universe, understandably, I still love it. But yes, I mean, um, um, if you're one of those people, then this is definitely the, the film you want to go and yeah. see. It's just, it's a f- breath of fresh air or a fresher breath air, yeah. as I almost said. Oh my god! And probably the most heartbreakingly, like timely Stanley Stanley. cameo to date, recorded cameo. But it has was very relevant to the themes of his death and stuff, even though it was well prior. Um, obviously, it was beautiful. It was Buzzy being in the film, and at the end, it said "dedicate." It said a Stan Lee quote because obviously he passed recently. And one kid in front of his front of us just looked at his dad and goes, "Who's Stan Lee? Do not bring your kid to this movie." No, <laughs> um, I was like, "Well, that's amazing because we're now at the generation where these kids are getting it." I mean, that could be their first superhero film. And I'm bloody chills at that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To be fair, uh, to be fair, it isn't. It's almost a weird moment where um, there's now this mythical figure known as Stan Lee, <laughs> yeah, yeah. who's going to be immortalized yeah, yeah, yeah. in these films. The voice cast was exceptionally well cast and performed uh, amazingly. Nicolas Cage, I have a newfound respect. Oh, man, he was good. That man. He was so, and he Ooh. never, he never tried to steal the limelight in the way he played the character. Yeah. It was so well done. Yeah. Not yeah. since the Wicker Man has Nicolas Cage <laughs> performed such a nuanced role. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, Sorry, you were about sh- to say something really serious. Don't and reveal like, my secret powers. Into- um, Tell you serious though. So Ben, question: yes. Someone who doesn't uh, traditionally like no. If you had a friend, for example, that didn't really like animation and didn't traditionally like superhero films, would you still recommend this to them? If you're a fan of exciting new ways to do film, yeah, then yeah, I would yeah. say go and see it. It felt very modern, though. Yeah. yeah. If you're like a traditional drama fan yeah and you know you just want to go and see things where mark ruffalo speaks in a quiet voice <laughs> just while rereading catcher in the rye um, <laughs> <laughs> which but is fine kind of... too by the oh, way yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah but uh, this maybe is not for that yeah yeah um it's not just fan service it's actually i mean it is don't worry we were salivating <laughs> for the first like, minute into the film i give this like a hundred percent ashton oh, tomatoes yeah. yeah tomato ashton gives it it's a good movie go see it 9.9 Recurring, yeah, it's many points. All right, I've been Ashton. Well, I am Ashton still. <laughs> um, going yeah. forward, the I'm Ben. Than you. I am Ben. Will continue to be Ben, um, uh, barring exceptional circumstances. Yeah, um, and we uh, with pretty, pretty much, much geeks. geeks. Oh, you went for the thumbs. I, I, I did just both. did sort of like a like an imagine.